Can you imagine a world without music? Even those of us who consider ourselves tone deaf will say no. Visiting the music museum in Bangalore's JP Nagar convinces us how all humans are musical. No one can express it better than Pandit Ravi Shankar. Ricky Cage, the young proponent of world music and Grammy award winner, has this to say. How did music start? Music started off as sounds from within nature. Music started off as sounds of the birds, sounds of the animals, sounds of the rivers flowing, sounds of the rain falling, sounds of the wind uh, moving against uh, you know uh, leaves of trees and things like that. And then later on, it evolved to humans trying to imitate those sounds, and that's what became the genesis of you know tribal music and things like that, where humans were just trying to imitate those sounds and making them more pleasing to our ears. And it's only for the last maybe about 400 or 500 years that music has actually become academic with notes and scales and rags and things like that. So music has started off from nature and uh, that's why I believe that music and nature is one and the same thing. Sa comes from the peacock, Re from the bull, Ga from the goat, Ma from the saras queen, Pa from the cuckoo, tha from the horse, and ni from the elephant. Navarasas refer to the nine human emotions. All the Navarasas can be expressed through music. Anything evolving from nature has to be universal. Music provided that universal language. Oh, you go on there. Oh, you go on At this point, I'm introducing. Mr. R. Mohan, musicologist from Bangalore, to give us his inputs from a lifelong association with all kinds of music, Indian music. What is the Rangoli doing in a music museum? Rangoli captures the vibrations of the complex harmonics of Raga music in two they dimensions. They have something special. And this there is, is exactly a separate the field of science right called semantics, which yeah. deals yeah. with yeah. the relationship between vibrations yeah. and yeah. The geometric yeah. patterns Except that you can the direction of how do you maintain it? You'll find that one is Hindustani element also, Drupad element also, Khayal element also, Abadath mein Khayal element bhi hoga, and also phenomenal rhythm, that's a forget it. And most important thing is, if you understand it carefully, you can do the orchestra relations. Hindustani samastha, or piano samastha, that is. You can do an arrangement. I can explain everything. But I can't write. A Western musical instrument was incorporated into Indian music in the early 19th century. Muthuswami Dikshidar, who lived in the 18th century, set Sanskrit lyrics to Western melodies. Uh, and and only only thing is all four lines, five lines, come. it's not a very big ones. Mm -hmm. on, you know, say, on every deity that you can think of, you know, on music, on this thing, Saraswati, on anything, on Manji. So what happens is you can start for the kids, you know, mm -hmm. in one single raga, Sankravaran, because then that's a basic note of Western C um, major scale. Mm -hmm. So you put that there, and 39 compositions are there. 
एंड पीपल थॉट यू नो इट इज इेवेंट करके सीखते नहीं थे या वेस्टर्न कौन सीखेगा बट नाउ डेज हम इंटरेस्ट इज कमिंग सो इज बीन गिवन दैट एटलीस्ट आई एम हैप्पी दैट फॉलोज एटलीस्ट गिवन सम इम्पोर्टेंस है एंड द्रुपद रंग का तो इम्पोर्टेंस पता नहीं कब मिलेगा उसको बट एटलीस्ट दिस इज सो उनको सुनने के बाद इंडिया को इंडियनाइज करने के लिए फर्स्ट ग्वालियर वन Uh-huh. what we call it as the gwalior gwalior has a lot of similarities with presentation of carnatic music actually uh-huh. we, they don't do the bad up the way uh-huh. normal do they complete the cycle first uh-huh. then slowly and slowly they'll pick it up uh-huh. whereas this these all of this follows all have it slowly you know uh-huh. one by one the bad up will be there uh-huh. and here is the iconic one this one uh-huh. and unka jo lineage jitna hai vilayat se hai we will be surprised at the almost about 20 dons after this yeah, yeah. prayas kar bilal yeah. sen gan sahab then you have yunus sen gan sahab you have other masters you know, so many of them you know. mm-hmm. and each of them were in their own way um, you know extraordinary uh, persons mm-hmm. and why i'm saying this i request you to uh, uh, he was alive till 1955 aha uh-huh. so some good recordings are also available it's not as if it's not aha ha ha and not that you know when the lp old lp is just about 3 3 minutes old uh-huh. Okay, what they say about him is, even if we, you know, uh, you know, you know, what they call Khansi, we hold that. Dusur me hold that. As a, but he had a very robust voice, which is not mic-able. Because you know, mic me, okay, but at those days there was no mic, no. So he has to sing for the audience of 100, 200, or 300. So he can't have that robust voice. It was very, very tough to, so it ca- captured his voice. This chap is Richal Karanji. Richal Karanji is a place in Maharashtra. This is the first fundamental Gwalior Gharana chap actually, uh-huh. and Tan Sen ka jaise na Gharana na Gwalior Gharana. So inka inka sab. He's made into Khayal style totally. This Tan Sen pick up into Drupadam totally. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So now from there you find the most important for the 20th century, Vishuddha Gama Kalas ko. From there the lineage starts of the Gwalior extensively across India. Uh-huh. Uh, India means I'm talking about Karnataka also, talking about uh, Maharashtra also, talking about uh, of course Rajasthan, everywhere else. Mm-hmm. Bengal I can't say. Bengal is mm-hmm. different. Here the Shridham Palaskar's influence is there. Mm-hmm. Three doyans, Vamkana uh, Thakur. Mm-hmm. Then you have uh, his own son. Of course, he died very early. Mm-hmm. Devi Palaskar died very early. He had some some problem. He contacted when he went to China. And he- Samay Chakra is an interactive experience at the Music Museum. Just an help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, make yeah. the raga understandable a little bit more, and the feel the understand a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So make that point very clear because it's not that just it has been formed in that. Correct. It's not. Correct. It's not compartmentalized. Right. Okay. Yeah, by the way, can be sung anywhere. Right. Huh? Yeah. See, look at that. See, make it yeah. compartment. The thing is, I understand because I am a Carnatic music singer. So you know it, na? So, right? I so that is the reason I tell you. It's yeah. very important. Let's not give, uh, you know, what we call as compartmentalized information. Correct. Correct. It's both are exactly same. Yeah, yeah. If you understand yeah, very yeah, carefully, yeah, nothing yeah. is different. Yeah, yeah, okay, correct, correct. so make that point very clear. Okay, okay. It's just that it is followed. For example, for the padhati, you know, for yeah. learning some Hindustani music, yeah. we have a yaman and the inayat and the correct, morning correct. you have a bairo and yeah. like that. Just to make it easy. Okay. In our uh, Karnataka music, what they do is we have that bairo and all that bairo only for yeah, yeah, yeah. up to certain period, right? Yeah, to make it certain things are very clear to you. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, ekta. To end this video, I leave you with the sounds of music from Assam and the Lakhis. Oh, ये वो वाले हैं।
पर नेपाली कम्युनिटी के अच्छा नेपाली कम्युनिटी वाले भी थे काफी हां ये हसन भी ये राभा का आसाम का राभा कम्युनिटी है हां इधर रात को इवनिंग डांस करते हैं ये है सीटा है ये है साक्सोनी है वो भी वो डांस में यूज करता है मिट्टी का बनाया है अच्छा इसको क्या करें वही ये Can you imagine a world without music? <laughs> <laughs> 